Hi there! In this video we look at the volume and the capacity of cubes and rectangular prisms. We've already worked with some information about three-dimensional shapes, so let's have a look at volume and in particular capacity of shapes, such as this one here. Do you remember that we've talked about volume as being measured in millimeters cubed or centimeters cubed or meters cubed? So this shape you should be able to say is a cube because all the dimensions are the same, side side, side are all the same or the length and the width or breadth and the height are all the same measurements. So you may use the formula volume equals side times side times side or volume equals side cubed or volume equals area of the base times the height of the prism to work out the volume of the shape. Substitute your values into whichever formula you've chosen and you should get that the volume is 125 centimeters cubed. Now, if you remember, volume tells you how much space the shape takes up. Capacity tells us how much, usually liquid, we can fit into the shape. Capacity is thus often measured in milliliters, liters, or kiloliters. We want to know what is the capacity of this shape. In order to do that, we need a little bit more information. So, let's look at the next slide. Hi there, in this video we look at the volume and specifically the capacity of cubes and rectangular prisms. We've already looked at some information about three-dimensional shapes, so let's move right along and look at volume and capacity of a shape such as this. If you remember, volume talks about the amount of space a shape takes up and is usually measured in dimensions such as millimeters cubed, centimeters cubed, or meters cubed. This shape is a cube because the length, the width or breadth, and the height are all the same number. In other words, we can use the formula side times side times side equals volume, or we may use the formula that says volume equals side squared, or we may use the formula that says volume equals the area of the base, times the height of the prism. Regardless, once you have your formula, substitute your numbers in and work out your value. In this case, our measurements are all in centimeters, so the volume is in centimeters cubed. Now capacity talks about how much can go inside the shape and it is usually measured in terms of liquids, so for example milliliters, liters or kiloliters. We are going to talk about the capacity of this shape. So, the first thing to know that is that one cubic centimeter of volume is the same as one milliliter in terms of capacity, and one meter cubed of volume is the same as one kiloliter in terms of capacity. So, for example, if you worked out the volume of a shape to be 300 centimeters cubed, centimeters, 300 centimeters cubed, the capacity, I've times this one by 300, so I will times this by 300, to be 300 milliliters. And that is the capacity when the volume is 300 centimeters cubed. So if we go back to our question now, remember, centimeters cubed and milliliters go together, meters cubed and kiloliters go together, to get to the capacity of this shape, bearing in mind that one milliliter is one centimeter cubed, if we have 125 centimeters cubed, we can say the capacity is 125 milliliters. Let's look at the capacity of this shape. Can you work out the volume first? You should get eight meters cubed. Now, because we're working in meters, we're going to use the formula that says one kiloliter equals one meter cubed, and so, if we're multiplying to get a volume of 8, we multiply by 8, we should multiply by 8 to say the capacity is 8 kiloliters. In terms of a rectangular prism with the measurements 25 centimeters, 2 centimeters, and 5 centimeters, you can work out the volume using length times breadth times height or area of base times height of prism to get the volume and substitute in and work out your volume is 250 centimeters cubed. Now your capacity, bearing in mind your formula, will be 250 milliliters, which is, by the way, one cup. So in summary, we've got our formulas for volume, and we've got our conversions from volume 
Tschüss.